Since Vibes Cartel has gone to prison, everything has changed. Hey peeps, it's your girl Blessed Gaza Diva and welcome back to the Blessed Gaza Diva channel. And people, I watched one of the most entertaining, enthralling, captivating interviews that has ever been done. And one of the best, if not the best, that has ever been done by Usain Bolt. Anyway, people, when we get back, we're going to listen to it. We're going to break it down. Well, listen to key parts of it. We're going to talk about it in the comment section. Let's kick it. You're not like anyone else. You find the way you are. Did you do this all yourself? A smile ignites the room. Send us up to the time, you know it's called Tell. Representing for Blessed D, Gaza Diva. I've, I've thought about it and I've never said it out loud. Since Vibes Cartel has gone to prison, everything has changed. Usain Bolt recently did an interview. And in the interview, Usain Bolt had a lot to say about dancehall music. And of course, Usain Bolt was asked. So it's not like Usain Bolt went to talk about Vibes Cartel. He was asked. And what else could he do? He spoke the truth. So we're going to take a quick listen again to another part of the interview than what you heard in the front part of the interview. And we're going to talk about it. Let's look at it. You know what I mean? When Vibes Cartel is out... A lot of people mirror what he does. Everything women do, them follow. If men are shit, them not swallow. <laughs> Life's cartel has long maintained that he's a dancehall hero, and a lot of people took offense to it. Why people took offense to it, I'm not quite sure, because there's nobody who has stepped up to the plate like Vibes Cartel. There's no other artist who has done for dancehall what Vibes Cartel has done in his reign and his era. We had the Bounty Killers, we had the Beanie Man, and they did what they were supposed to do during their time. But from Vibes Cartel went to prison, Vibes Cartel left dancehall in a lull. Vibes Cartel left dancehall in a great punching bag state where we were punching up music across the world but then when vibes cartel left there was this huge hole like a volcano passed through dancehall and to this day we are still seeing the ripple effect of it now in this interview you will also hear usain bolt talk about the people who are doing it and he made a valid point they are making music they ha are keeping things afloat. They are doing some of the things that they're supposed to do, but it's just not the same without Vibes Cartel. You can tell me now down below in the comment section. It's no disrespect to the massacres, the skilly bangs, but they are just not Vibes Cartel. It is the reality. And I'm going, I'm sure I'm going to hear people, but they don't want to be Vibes Cartel. We don't want them to be Vibes Cartel either. But what we are used to as a Vibes Cartel fan, and not even only Vibes Cartel fan, whether you like Vibes Cartel or you hate Vibes Cartel, Vibes Cartel was always the one carrying dancehall on his back when Bounty Killer and Beanie Man kind of started leaving dancehall for the new world generation in Vibes Cartel era to take it over. And Vibes Cartel opened up with arms wide open and he really took over dancehall. He took dancehall to another level. Every weekend, every day, matter of fact, when Vibes Cartel was free, I was like, I was one of those fans. I couldn't wait to hear what Vibes Cartel is singing about next. And this era and this song I'm going to play, one of the best songs that ever came out of that, me waiting to hear what Vibes Cartel has next to say, because this was the true epitome of Vibes Cartel speaking to what was actually happening in dancehall. Vibes Cartel was leading the way. Yo, Sean. Yo, Sean. Me sing about plaques, them a sing about crib, them a sing about kicker, kicker. If Vibes Cartel sung about summer, you hear beer summer song. If Vibes Cartel talk about cake soap, you hear carbolic song. If Vibes Cartel talk about Benz, you hear Benz song. Anything Vibes Cartel sung about, talked about, you hear it repeated. And Usain Bolt is right in this statement. Most of the artists would mirror what he does, but no one stepped up. Mm. and took over after he left. 
Now I want you to tell me now down below in the comment section where did you say in lie? Vibes Cartel is quintessential example and what was keeping dancehall alive and the staying power. When you look at what is happening in dancehall now, it's pure gimmicks and couscous. Pure gimmicks and couscous. In the last five days or so, I have posted about 10 different instances of mix-up. 10 different instances of mix-up. And I can tell you, had Vibes Cartel been out, everything from political, societal, money, any issue, it would have been addressed in a song. You think, say, Andrew Olness could have teeth up my money, son, I get away with it, and Vibes Cartel and write 10 songs for that already? Wanna tell me now down below in the comment section? If you are a true Vibes Cartel fan, tell me if Andrew Olness, Ruel Reed, all of them were a mashup maroon town, and all the politicians and the policemen, them were a fight. Everything where our country is built on. If Vibes Cartel wouldn't write 50 million songs, at this them. But also want to know if you tell me. <laughs> the spice situation, I don't even know if it would have come out or been a reality had Vibes Cartel been freed. But that's another topic for another day. But me know so something would have write about it. The only little one we see did a song about a plane that crashed. That was a big event. And you really see that Vibes Cartel was his mentor in that vein for him to even run on, on a song like that and made a national singing anthem out of it. The plane just crashed with a coke. Those are the things that Vibes Cartel does. Vibes Cartel take current affairs. Vibes Cartel was never an artist who was blocked in a box singing freaky songs. He was not an artist blocked in a box singing gun songs he was not an artist blocked in a box singing political anti-political songs he was not an artist blocked in a box singing party songs vibes cartel is a multifaceted multi-dimensional artist that did everything that we as dancehall fan gravitated towards vibes cartel is the reason i stopped listening to rap and hip-hop because i drifted away from our music because there was nothing there gravitating enough to keep me glued to our music and i just started to listen to vibes cartel and i then i started to get something to challenge my brain then i started to think then i started to get somebody who was on my level mentally to stimulate my brain to excite my mentals, to excite my vocabulary. Because when you listen to a Vibes Cartel song, your mind is constantly working. And for the average mind, yeah, Vibes Cartel to you, probably it means nothing. But to a mind like mine and many others, we love to listen to Vibes Cartel. Vi listening to Vibes Cartel music, it's like, literally, it's so smooth. It's so cool. You understand me? It's like listening to Vibes Cartel puts you on cloud nine and it makes you float away to another place, space and time. That's what his music does. Everything. If it is a weed song, it takes you higher. If it is an educational song, it takes you there. If it is a, even a freaky song, there's some learning in it. Anti-government song, some learning in it. Current affair song, some teaching in it. That's what Vibes Cartel does. And with all of that amalgamation and all that talent and all that strength and all that natural ability to make music so dimensional, multidimensional, people had to look to him to see what is the next thing. Vibes Cartel is that kid in school that everybody wants to copy out and book because them knows them now get not less than 98. And there, no pun intended, it's the reality. When Vibes Cartel drop a song, artists know that it's going to hit when vibes cartel drop a song they know that the girls are going to be happy when vibes cartel drop a song they know the thugs are going to be happy when vibes cartel drop a song they know that government could be steaming and said this is or whatever vibes cartel is always cooking up something in the lab to deliver to us so the artist had to look to him as the blueprint of how they need to run into the studio and mimic or follow his next track you know what i mean Everybody was looking towards somebody like, yo, what do you, who's going to step up? Who's going to be that guy that we look Vibes forward Cartier to? Vibes laid down a platform and a blueprint that has been mirrored, copied, stolen so many times. Yo! If me not shit them, can you? If me not defecate them, whatever. You know, see the world of them a parasite, them a leech. Vibes Cartel has, has ruined the dictionary for many artists because he has used everything in the dictionary. Like, if they use it, that's why people go and automatically say a vibes cartel in my copy 
because Vibes Cartel has ruined the dictionary. He has literally almost used every word in the dictionary. And that is why Usain Bolt, in this interview, had to say what he said. It was a riveting interview. I was quite pleased with the interview. I enjoyed it immensely. I am proud to say that I'm a Gaza fan, always have been proud, and will continually be proud. Every time anybody speaks about Vibes Cartel, I am feeling prouder and prouder, even though he's behind bars. Anyway, people, it's a good interview. I'm going to leave the link down below in the comment section so that you can toggle to the interview, listen to the interview for yourself in its entirety. Now, it's not all about Vibes Cartel, but of course, that's the part about Vibes Cartel interests me. Anyway, people, tell me your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell. If you've not yet smashed the like button on this video, smash the like button and send this out. I'm out. Yes. Why free, why free, why free, why free, why free, why free?